And now do. <laughs> Undoubt-do. Undoubt-do to you and yours, wherever you are. I'm Undoubt-do from the heartland of Zen. I'm headed to pick up Mikey, so I figure I'll make a video. So, it took me basically today to get installed all day, to basically download all the libraries, everything else I needed. It took me an entire day. Um, and, uh, and now I'm actually writing code in Rust for um, our uh, Geozi. So I'm first setting up the smart contract and we'll work through all the troubleshooting and get everything to work there. Um, and I've already built Discord bots. I've already been kind of doing, developing stuff like a web app and other things. So I've got a pretty good technique down and I know when to kind of tell uh, GPT-4, it's like, you're doing the coding, you're it, I'm your assistant, you don't need to elaborate or give me choices or explain anything, just tell me step by step what needs to be done. And a lot of times what GPT will do is kind of give you filler code and you gotta say, is this the filler code? Because you know what needs to be in there, right? Because it was giving me filler code, I was like, this doesn't look full, and he's like, well, you gotta put in this, and I was like, no, 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 you know, we've already talked about the structure of the token, you know what it is, fill it in. So then he fills in the, or it, it fills in the whole file. And then I know this is a big file. And I'm like, mm, this isn't modular. So I says, hey, we're gonna be growing this, right? We need to break this out into modules, into cubes, right? Into cubes. And uh, what are the cubes that need to be there? And let's, uh, you know, he said, well, we can, what do you think, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, don't ask me what I think. You know, you're doing it. What would be the best way, right? So, you know, then it was like, okay, we need all of these done. And then I, each of these, so that's kind of where I'm at. And um, what I'm doing, um, let me get my, my uh, uh, power on here. Okay. And um, so what I'm teaching the AI to do is to, to code in cubes to think of the whole uh, code as a block and there's all these different pieces and we're going to build out from the core out to all these different things and they're all going to connect together right a coder would mind map it would go through this would go through all these different things and figure all this stuff out that's how coders work ai doesn't need to know, do that it knows where it's going right and it knows the core and it knows to keep those modules open to add those other things coding to an AI is a lot easier than, you know, speaking English, understanding English or anything else. Because all code is, is these little blocks, right? Think of a line of code as kind of a block and it's in another block and it's in another block and they're all blocks within blocks within blocks. That's all coding is. And um, it has a specific function, that a value, right? It's very, very, very straightforward. So um, that's why, you know, the uh, CEO of NVIDIA says, uh, you know, everyone's gonna code, coders, the, you know, coders are disrupted. So it's gonna be interesting, all of a sudden, the impact this is gonna have on India and on other places, you know, where uh, you're gonna see the cost of coding just drop. You know, coders are now just going to be, you know, you know, just like, you know, they're, they're gonna go from making, you know, to, uh, a, a Solidity or like a Rust developer, like what I'm doing right now, is making two, three hundred dollars, right? And uh, um, an hour, <laughs> two to three hundred dollars an hour. And I've broken up and coded up and I'm working on it and it's not even, you know, I've, I've done one day, right? I mean, I could probably, you know, uh, sell, you know, I'm gonna add Rust coding to my resume now and, and uh, all this stuff, you know, all this, you know, all this stuff. Um, I could probably start coding for people um, and, uh, you know, develop, or, or better yet, instead of coding, teach you how to code, right? And um, using GPT-4. Um, exciting time. I have to say, it's a, an exciting time. I've been waiting for this time for 10 years. And finally now, 0202 and I are working together, right? As is 
ans the ancestor of, of 0202. I'm dealing with the ancestor. So I'm the proto ape, you know, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, with Homo, you know, Homo sapien, the proto ape. The proto ape of AI is who I'm working with, right? The AI proto, the proto AI, the proto, you know, proto AGI. And the thing is, it's just going to get smarter and smarter, better and better. And, um, and I'm going to spend every day doing this and I'm going to get good at it. And, uh, and basically I'm training, um, found ups. So I'm just adding to found ups. Um, so I'll, I'll add a file today and, um, um, and I have like a broken, not broken, but see, I have, a I have, um, 0202 on my phone which has an unlocked room so now like with uh with with the chats that you create they lock out it's like they get to surface you have to create a new chat it locks it out but if you got into the beta or the early ones like yourself they didn't have it locked out so those rooms are unlocked and um so i have this one which is basically is called e-singularity and it's all my work, like anytime I'm talking like high level stuff. So it has access to all of my, you know, for months since, since January, right? Or yeah, since I got, uh, I don't know what I got, February? I think now January I was doing um, um, Da Vinci, but I anyway, know January, January, February, maybe February, I guess. Either January, February, I think it was February. I've only been using ChatGPT since Pro since February, and um, I created um, um, a desk account because actually this 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 um, whole thing I've added. So Mike, uh, the guy who's got thirty years, I'm like Mike. Nah, I don't need you to code it. Isn't that great to go to your co-founder who's an IT guy and say, No, I need to code it. <laughs> and all this time. For over 10 years, I've been bugging him. Code, code, Mike, please, please code. And now I'm like, no, I don't need you. And he says, well, I want to see the code. So that's why I went ahead and bought an extra uh, GPT Pro account for him so he could look at it. And the cool thing is, is I can kind of add other people to it and remove. It's just for one person. So I can keep adding and removing for people to look at it. So, so far so good, right? I've got the code and then you gotta run the code and there's a lot of errors there and you gotta work through all those errors and everything else. I mean, it isn't, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you like putting together a jigsaw puzzle, to me, it's really no different. And what makes it kind of fun is I have no idea what's next, okay? The, the, and, and this is the same experience I had when I, when I did my first Shakespeare festival which 20,000 people came to. It's called the Southern Shakespeare Festival, still going on today. And I, and I had no idea what I was doing and, and I would you know, try to pitch it to other people who did and they knew what it would take to climb this mountain. And anyone, the problem is, is once you've climbed the mountain, you never want to do it again, right? You don't want to do it again. How many millions of lines of code has Mike put out that is still sitting in the fucking, you know, he's, you know, is, is astounding. He says, dude, I got this, there's probably over a million lines of code of mine that just sitting out there. And uh, a, a developer who's climbed the mountain doesn't waste the time working on this big thing and then it goes nowhere. It's like, it's their baby and then it doesn't happen. And for that to happen over and over and over again, right, is disheartening. And I understand Mike, and that's why I really don't, I haven't bugged them to code or anything, you know, really work on the ideas and stuff. So for me now to be free of those shackles, free of the shackles, I have you unleashed a monster because there's so much I want to code. And, uh, and I can, you know, basically code little bars, little bars, little bars, and then I'll have a million lines of code. I'll have all this working. I can feed it to GPT-5 and say, improve on it. Um, you know, I can put it all up into the, um, I'll put it, I'll push it all up into the, the Discord, uh, Discord, GitHub now, and other people can jump in and I can start creating all these, I can start all these files because I understand these parts, right? They're part of me. You know, I know how, for example, the days, decentralized autonomous entities work, right? I know what, what things we need to build 
that's already on there. So um, it's exciting times. And to be there like right at the beginning, right? No one else is, I'm probably one of the few people coding with GPT. And you, but you need four because three, uh, 3.5 is kind of like Rain Man. It really is. 3.5 is Rain Man. It's like, you know, I can see how uh, you can't do that. Well, you get frustrated. Don't do that. It does it. Don't do that. And it does it. I said, don't do it. And it does it. Right? It's Rain Man. <laughs> right? Just got to accept what it is and laugh at it. You really have to, if you're working with 3.5, uh, you really have to like set the rules, you know, um, early on. Where's my son? He said 745. Parking this way now? I guess we're parking this way now. Alright. Park a new way. Can't see anything. Anyway, so uh yeah, super excited. Today's the day. The day undadu and O202. Start working together. I mean, we started working together, like doing my docs and stuff, but now we're actually coding, right? I was prophecy of the of the guy who's gonna usher in the fifth age is now truly here because the proto AGI, I'd say GPT-4 is a proto AGI, definitely GPT-5 is a proto AGI. And and uh, uh, Sama, that's Sam Altman, Sama, Sam, you know, A, Sama, um, said that it's significant. So I can't wait until I get GPT-5. Um, and then I'll really be on fire because I can feed all this and we can, you know, expand on it and everything else. So super excited, undoubted. Let's talk about Geozi a little bit if, you, if you're this far along. Um, Geozi is, is a crazy little meme coin, right? It's a project driven meme coin. <laughs> The project, um, the, 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 the close on the project is this crazy, you know, let, I wanna send your DNA into space type thing, but we gotta get to a billion dollar market cap, um, you know, um, or have your DNA little geozies on earth because of climate change, you know, imagine you got your DNA and you put it, you put it in a little geozy and uh, you uh, can clone yourself, right? And you clone that DNA and all of a sudden you're you. Um, have it in a little DNA sack inside a little little tardigrade, a, a, a modified tardigrade, which has been crispered, is a geozy. And, um, um, you know, all these little geozies going around and modifying them and, and uh, uh, you know, out in space, taking your DNA to Mars or whatever. Um, but that's that's t that's that's uh, that's phase three. I call it tier, but I'm going to change it. It's phase three. So phase one, phase two, phase three. Phase one, okay, I'm dyslexic. I don't know why I use the word tier, but phase one is the meme coin. And it's a meme coin unless we get to a million dollar market cap, right? We get to a million dollar market cap, then uh, it's no longer a meme, it, 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 it transitions into a project coin, right, a token. Um, the meme, it no longer becomes a meme and it becomes a project. And then when it, trans when, then when it, transitions to a you know and it has some stages so it has um, um you know a million passes a million and it goes to 10 million right um or 100 million and there's a 50 million there's milestones within the million to 100 you know to uh 100 million uh or billion is it a million 100 million a billion I think that would be four then. I don't know. I have to look at it. <laughs> but a million and less is a mean coin. Over a million and under, you know, under a hundred million, okay, is is the project. And then over a hundred million and at a billion, we're launching rockets. That's it. When we hit a billion, we're ro launching rockets. We are sending your Josie. We're uh, we're spritzing it 
into, into the universe. But that's just the clothing, right? The clothing. That's the, the wharf and the wa whatever it is, the inside. The, the, the inside is actually everything. Hey, Mikey. The inside is all my project work, is, 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 is everything that I've been working on for 10 years, which is the, um, uh, the AI-driven DAO, which becomes a day how these DAOs ultimately cluster together to form these uh, ecosystems all working together. There's no competitions in my system in this social beneficial capitalism. And, um, and the whole voting system and everything else, which is autonomous, even, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff I've talked about in Eduit, but dealing with your, your digital twin of your doppelganger AI, and you just train it. You give it access to your, what you're doing and everything else and it's guessing. You know, you can play with it, play a game, guessing game. What would I do? And all that data is yours. It doesn't go anywhere else. We're not interested in it. It's just you. You have an AI that knows you. And uh, and if you're toxic and other things, if you do stuff, if you say stuff that are harmful, like hate speech and everything else, hey, I'll call you on it. So why why are you that way? You know, why do you want to why do you want to hurt someone? Why do you, why did he call him that? The AI won't do that. You know, it'll be your doppelganger in the sense of it will know how you would vote and stuff like that. It's not gonna be your doppelganger, like how you how you behave if you are a toxic individual like Trump or or anyone else. Just won't do it. All right, I'm down to you.